All right, what's happening, fam? How are y'all moving? Still moving. N word versus B word. So let's nigger versus bitch, right? I had these this conversation twice in a week with two different friends of mine. One male, one female. Being called bitch is disrespectful. But being called nigger, that's just ah, you know, and I'm in reverse to that. I think both words are very disrespectful. But what I think is one friend was male, one friend was female, if I if I didn't say that. Both people were black. It's funny to me that if somebody calls somebody a bitch, it's who the who you calling a bitch? Like, are you crazy? I kill you. Hmm. But if I call them a nigga, ha ha my 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 nigga. I was telling a friend of mine, I said, you know, you don't think it's weird that if I call you a bitch, you ready to fight, but if I call you a nigga, we cool. Like, you know, and 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 both of them have the almost the same identical thing. You know, nigga, everybody say nigga, nigga ain't that bad, but bitch, oh, bitch is bad. And I, was like, and, I and I sat back, I was like, you know, nobody. <sighs> Nobody ever got a lynch for being called, but using the word bitch, like, you know. Well, I mean, somebody probably called you, somebody a bitch while they were lynching them, but they probably called them a bitch-ass nigga. Like, it wasn't a, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga was in the sentence, too. It wasn't, you know, just straight bitch, you know. You know, slavery, using going using that as a reference in this scenario, everybody was just called bitch. You remember, even the women were called bitches, and, but they were called nigger bitches. You get what I'm saying? So, like, bitch is an all-encompassing term now, right? But the nigga was very specific, you know? So, the thing is, to me, it comes off as like a slave mentality. If, yes, boss, you calls me a nigga. I'll be a nigga. Yes, I was, I was a nigga, boss. Yes, yes, yes. Bitch, I have way more self-respect and dignity to be called a bitch. If you ever, if you ever call me a bitch, I will blow this motherfucker up. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And it's funny because I think to a degree, Society views, even us black people, we view women as more important than men. But more than that, we view women more important than black men. Because see, women in general could be called, uh, bitch is a derogatory term for women. So bitch is like now the highest derogatory term there is. Though there is not, no, cities weren't burned down by that word. People weren't murdered by that word. People weren't put in, in bondage with that word. People weren't raped with that word, male and female. You get what I'm saying? People weren't, <laughs> you know, denied access because of that word. Like, just think about it like this. <clears throat> Even the feminist movement <laughs> piggybacked off of civil rights racial movement, okay? It didn't come, women didn't come first. It was race. So I'm using it in a historic context, like, seriously, think about what you're doing. Now, here's the other thing. And I always say this. I think some of us, we use the word far too loosely, far too much. And then we get offended. You get what I'm saying? Then we get offended. Like, the word nigga and the word bitch are really synonymous in this way. Black people say nigga all the time. Then when somebody that's not black say nigga, whoa, who are you? You got me. What? Boy, don't get yourself killed like that. And women use the word bitch all the time. And then when a man says it, what? Who, who, who are you calling a bitch? You and I, T Y. You get what I'm saying? It's that. But the truth of the matter is this if you disrespect yourself, People are going to think it's okay to disrespect you. Like, the same way, um, and there's a difference between somebody imposing 
they'll want to disrespect you. Like I take, I, I use this in, in in this example. People use hoodies as a quote unquote like sl slick passive aggressive diss to Trayvon Martin, and you know, but you know, when I see a hoodie, you know, I think danger. No, 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 you don't. When you see a black kid with a hoodie, you think he's a criminal. But everybody else who wears hoodies, not a criminal. You get my point? But so you could disrespect the person, the black kid in the hoodie because, oh my God, he must be an Al Qaeda. Fuck out of here. Um, we dis we don't like people in hoodies except they was white. They had little things around the eyes. We have a real reason for that. You know, they still have white dudes with hoodies, things around the eyes, robes and shit. You know, some of them are your cops, some of them are your judges, some of them are your councilmen, some of them just the people at the, at the store trying to spit in your food. I mean, you know, that's how that goes. Now, but on the flip side, you have using women as an example, women who, walk, who go around dressing provocative. Yeah. Why are you approaching me? Well, goddamn, you naked. I thought you was advertising for some sex tonight. I no, just because I'm walking around with nothing on doesn't mean you can approach me for sex. What the fuck did you come outside for then? Like this. Like, seriously. So, that's the thing. You know, you can't put yourself out there as one thing and not expect people to approach you as that one thing. You know, but on the hoodie reference was more so sometimes people just want to perceive you a certain way no matter what you're wearing. Trust me. If I walk around, if I came, I, I, I did videos back in the day with um, Fresh Out of Church with, a, with a, a, a tie and a dress shirt. You can go back and check. A lot of times I do videos not like this because I'm going to the gym, you know, or coming from the gym, you know, something like that. But the thing is, the message doesn't necessarily change, you know. Your perception of what you want in your mind changes. You get them? You get what I'm saying? Because you want to see what you want to see, whether it's positive or negative. Now, the reason I'm saying all this is because of this. If you allow people to call you nigger, but you don't allow people to call you bitch, This is the kind of society we live in. And as black people, it's different because, see, let's be real. And it took me a long time to find out these things. Kike and Spick and, uh, I guess, Redskin could be used as a term right now. You know what I'm saying? Chink and Wop and... Oh, fuck. Uh, jig or whatever. I, I mean... Goop and shit like that. People don't. People uh, do not cracker and all that. You know, um, wet back and all that shit. Uh, people don't walk around calling themselves that. So when they say, so if you call somebody under that those ethnic umbrellas, those names, they get offended first. And but if you call them a bitch, they'll get offended also. You get what I'm saying? The, nobody. And we have to look at ourselves like nobody else. Does that, and that, should, and that, and to a degree, that's a sign of stupidity. Like I could disrespect me if I want to, and I could disrespect you, but here's where it goes wrong. Just because you feel it's okay to disrespect yourself, you don't project project your disrespect of self onto me. You don't say because you call yourself nigger or your friends nigger that you get to call me nigger. And I'm talking, and and mind you, this whole conversation started with two of my friends who are black. Okay, so if you don't, so th this is what I mean. Because a lot of times, and I've noticed this, whether I'm around my own people or people who are not my own people and this comes up, everybody, it's a split room. Like, if you have people that, that look at you like, but you call yourselves nigga? No, we all don't do that. And then you have people like, why you just can't stop saying that shit? It's disrespectful. And they be like, what? That's not disrespectful. 
Okay. And then you have and then you have people who I didn't know I didn't know that people didn't like being called nigga. And then you have people like well, I can't call it up. I can't say nigga around that one because they don't really take offense to it. I was I was hanging out with these people so I could say nigga freely, and these idiots was letting me do it. You know, it, it's it, it's that kind of mold to it. So, and the funny part about it is, when people start having children, that's when it gets real funny, because see that term that is so cool and so endearing when your kid go out in public shut up you little ignorant nigga whoa everybody like I know you didn't teach this kid that you stupid motherfucker you Get, that's my point you know same thing with the word bitch I know you, you stupid little bitch whoa I know you didn't teach that little kid that you ignorant motherfucker exactly so n word versus the b word you know get back with me let me know what you, what you, what you think